leg like not just a broken leg shattered leg happy come here see the smile on my face oh my god guys i am on my way out this is about five hey the gate man is in check the small gate the small gate see it so i'm in my house this morning my sister just see me off Guys, so we got into Lagos like got into Lagos like maybe say maybe 2 p.m. But it's currently about 6 p.m. or 5 p.m. I'm not really sure the time. So it's currently 6 or 5 p.m. Because we've been in one small traffic. When I told my friend that oh I've been in traffic, and then I videoed the traffic. She was like, ah, this is small now. And I'm like, eh, hey, <laughs> there's more than this. So, anyways, I'm in Lagos now and. It actually feels normal. It feels like I'm in Porta Court School. It feels like I'm in Porta Court School. Yes. I have just three days to be here. Or that three nights to be here. And let's, let's, let's try to see how it's going to be. I don't know if you guys are hearing me because I know it's not dead piece. I know it's not a mic. Or, and then my stuff has a problem. My mouth has a problem. I don't know if you guys are hearing me. But yeah. So I, I'm still at the park. I'm waiting for the for location for where I'm going to stay for the three days. Someone is laughing at me but we don't care, we do this thing. <laughs>
time that the Lord had been waiting for. This is that time. He said, You men and women of God, take up, stand up. You men and women of God, we have come to claim that which is our own. We have come to claim our own heritage. And he said, Nigeria is great. Nigeria is great. guys what's up so it's time to share my story i'm putting on my harry potter glasses from goodness glasses gg glasses and these glasses are just like i don't know i want to just comment the glasses first of all because i love it so much i love the fact that it's big and then light and then just and then it's actually it's actually blu-ray so that it helps my viewing on my system whenever i want to edit or do whatever i want to do on my system so that's actually why i love the glasses so much and it's it's her glasses are always nice i have another one from her very very sweet something anyways so let, let me get right let me get into the reason for this story time so i went to lagos now so my first day in lagos my entrance into lagos was it so why did i go to lagos for those that see my video and they're sure you guys expect to see me at the beach see me you know going to the restaurant you know eat or stuff like that i didn't go to lagos for any of that i actually went to lagos for um I actually went to lagos for a conference so please if i continue can i let me just bow my lip so there is this see my lip now so <laughs> so there's this um annual lpd convention that we go for lpd is living by design so I'm, I'm not going to go deep into all of that so lpd is living by design so this there's an annual convention that we go to either in lagos or wherever they want to hold it and this was my first time ever i mean it's there are a lot of renowned personalities in, in this community and it's just a beautiful thing because it's not just like it's like the perfect base to network know god and all it just is it's beautiful on its own okay so i was going i went for this convention and then i went to the friend so our entrance into lagos that, that the reason i said this is like that's the reason i i didn't have time to go to the beach and like really enjoy Lagos as it should be enjoyed. Do you understand? But I, I promise my next trip to Lagos is going to be on a major cruise. It's just going to be cruise time in Lagos. Okay, Lagos, Lagos. Sorry, there's noise from the room, my sisters. So when we 
got the um the traffic first of all welcomed us very well like the traffic welcomed us well and i i, I sent a video to my friend i was like ah see lego i'm in lagos see traffic she was like ah this traffic is small now wait until you come in lagos i was like yeah so luckily i stayed on the island so it helped to reduce the level of traffic stuff for on my end but then we paid uber jesus we used uber and i was like one nonsense <laughs> I was like, what rubbish? How like just from here to here? For so so for this amount? Like <laughs> I was really obsessed with how much we had to spend on um boat and Uber in Lagos. It was just an outrageous price and it was annoying, it was just pissing. So so on entering Lagos we i want to just share this little story and then help encourage somebody out there you know that after in every story there's an encouragement there's something there's a lesson to learn okay so stay with me so um by the way if you haven't subscribed and if you haven't liked my video if you haven't clicked on the notification bell please do that before you continue watching this video okay please just pause and subscribe Post and share the link okay please let's grow our community let's let's grow let's expand let's just let, let's form a country here okay and a nation okay so let's 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 go okay so plenty johnson johnson done end so when we entered lagos it was time for us to find where we're going to stay because we did not know our way around the island obviously so and then someone was someone was lodging us so i was like ah, jesus guys there's now suddenly noise in the background my neighbors are making noise what is this what i do to make these people do this somebody's been banging their door i'm not going to that aside we continue we move so um trying to find the place we had to book um a boat so i don't know I, I think the guy couldn't find it and then someone actually helped us so we got to a point where we had to cross the road and then board keke to the place like keke is tricycle okay for those i don't know those are not nigerians watching my video because i believe that this video is going to spread so so we had to board a tricycle going to where we we're going to the hotel we we're going to so when we got there and then we stopped the first um tricycle wanted to enter did not stop for us so he just left he just passed he very aggressive as lagos everybody's angry in lagos like literally everybody's angry in lagos so he the guy didn't wait for us he just left we're like ah, okay I'll. <laughs> then the second um tricycle we're about to enter um two people entered the tricycle instead so just bring myself and my friend so two people entered the tricycle and then so we had to keep waiting then the tricycle left so the next person came then we entered the tricycle then it was time to move then we got to a point where we were like we still seeing people shouting the place was just very rowdy and all like ah they wonder what's going on they're not saying ah eh, person won't die for front to person won't die for front to we're like person won't die for front is someone is dying at the front so person won't die for front so person won't die. Like ah, who like what's as what's going on? Everything happened so the place was rowdy. Place was just everybody was just everywhere up and agitated. I think that's the word. Yes, everybody was just agitated and you know shouting. So I was wondering like what is happening. Then we got close. We saw a head-on collision. Either a head-on collision. I don't know what happened, but the tricycle was shattered the glass was everything so there was a car i don't know how the car was speeding and the car was on i don't even know what the story was but i just know that there was just a lot of disorder in the air that period and then i was like what's happening here like can you name <laughs> like what is going on and then they said trying to beat my beat the keke guy they're trying to just push us out of the of the tricycle no they just 
trusting us i was like please can we just shift and wait for this madness to reduce so i turned and then looked at the the passengers that get that got hurt there was a lady sitting on the floor her waist was dislocated a lot of bone stuff fracture and all i think she had a broken bone or so i do I, I can't really remember then the other passenger had a broken leg like not just a broken leg shattered leg like the person was already almost dead because the person the person was already almost dead because when they were carrying the person he was just like uh, uh, uh. so when i was looking like at these people i was like oh my god i first of all all i felt at that point was pain like ah, oh my god only god knows kind of pain people are going through how oh god please let this guy be okay where he's going to and all then we left that place after plenty of things the tricycle community people finally accepted that people start moving again so we started moving then it just hit me like that was the same tricycle guy and those were the same passengers that would have been in the tricycle it could have been myself and my friend in that tricycle and i was like god really sometimes when there's a delay first of all if you if you notice from my video i posted i wrote something when we left um enugu at a particular time so there was a delay because we we bought it it was like a chartered vehicle so a lot of people from lbd were moving together so we had to wait for people to come so that the vehicle could be full before we left so that, that was the first delay then this other delays so i was just in so much shock and in awe on how god preserved us from that accident i was like it could have been me on that floor or it could have been me that had a broken leg like what would have been my story now where would i have been now what i have been saying the story would have been different it have been a thing of oh we didn't know we just then when i went to for convention in lagos and i came back to the good leg my father would not want to hear story like what what are you talking about so it just really kept me in a place of thanksgiving that period funny enough what happened when we came back friends people came and then they were like oh my sister that morning of my return just had it in mind to pray for me like pray for my trip back just said praying and then while we were in lagos some of my friends back in enugu were praying they had dreams of death you know and all those things but we are not yet when it's not the time to die i mean one thing i told god is i have assignments on this earth and i'm going to fulfill all of it so we, we came back and then they were saying those things i i was filled with so much more thanksgiving i was like god you are so intentional like you kept me in the mind of these people to pray for me like i could have been the person there i could have been in the hospital you can be bringing my, my dead body from lagos my first time in lagos god why am i saying this now what's the lesson to be learned from this right first of all i want you to be patient with god sometimes we are too in a hurry hey this is not going the way we want it so people get agitated ah, ah it's okay guy you it must be okay when i enter they enter the KK and something happens or you rush the vehicle that was that was supposed to move in the morning and then you get to lagos early enough just to bought that a tricycle that left before we entered so the thing is stay be patient in many things that we see as mishap or things that didn't work out the way we wanted them to work out 
that was God silently and quietly working in the background for us without us even knowing. Like, God is just good, guy. Like, God is just good. God is just sweet. So this was how he was quietly working in the background. I didn't realize. I was like, God, it could have been me in this particular tricycle, this particular one. But you just did it somehow that I delayed. The Bible said in everything, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. When the thing looks like it's not going the way you want it, what do you do? Thank you, Jesus. When it at when the thing seems like oh this thing is moving against me, oh thank you, Jesus. Because in everything that there is, I always say that all things does what work together for good. For who? To them that love God and are was and are called according to his purpose. All things. All things, not some. All, even in that delay, is working together for my good. That mishap is working together for my good. I didn't get that job. Oh, it's working together for my good. Everything is working together for my good. Because I love God, and yes, I'm called according to His purpose. So this is a a sound. <laughs> Let me put it that way. To anybody out there that sees situations and then you just and you're like, oh God, why do you hate me? The funniest thing is when we tell, tell God that He hates us. Really, when He's actually working things out for you. Learn to stay with God. Just be patient. Whenever I talk about God, I get really emotional because I mean, it's His love for me. Like, it didn't demand me. Learn to be patient. Learn to wait. Learn to trust. Learn to trust God. God is sweet too. Nobody should tell you otherwise. God is sweet. God is delicious. I feel like my 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 friends are like, God is sweet. Oh God is no no no. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much again for watching this video. I hope at all it drops any sense of value at all to you, and you learn something from this video from this short story. Because I know that the video on its own was just me showing you guys new road, but I hope that this made any form of sense to you and i hope to see you all in my next video by the way i was just coming back for a meeting um the recalibration meeting today and yeah i'm just completely exhausted and tired so this is my tired face still if i get so anyways thank you guys so much for staying to this point of this video by the way you guys saw nigeria independence in that thing in my video you guys saw how people were making declarations for nigeria you saw how mothers stood praying for nigeria making declarations nigeria is great nigeria is peaceful nigeria is unified nigeria is this nigeria is that eh nigeria you don't better finish you you don't have a choice like you do not have a choice we have a great nation nigeria is a great nation so with that being said you all know that our elections are coming up i want to ask a question you don't collect your pvc hmm? have you collected your pvc if you've not collected your pvc you are what you are wrong what a pro i have a pvc and that's why i'm proud that's why i'm making mouth yes go and get your pvc we need to vote we need to vote cast your vote see the big card holder i guess my pvc
see this was the hole that they, they put my my conference tag in so i was like ah i don't have an id card holder oh yeah i have this no matter how big it is yeah this is my id card holder for now get your pvc cast your vote get your pvc cast your vote get your pvc cast your votes your votes counts no matter who you are where you are that one vote counts vote right vote wisely vote with the wisdom of god all right vote with wisdom anyways so thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you so much for staying to this point of my story i mean if you stay to this time I love you so much like i love you big so much thank you guys so much for staying to the end of this video i hope to see you guys in my next video thank you so much thank you so much for the love of my last video i mean all the the comments were so encouraging i read comments i was getting emotional i was like thank you guys so much thank you i'm so grateful i'm super super grateful you guys mean you guys like because i've blown me away thank you i did not expect the kind of love that i received on returning back to youtube but you guys just did the most don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to watch my previous videos okay don't forget to share don't forget to make your family members subscribe to my channel don't forget to make everybody in your home subscribe to my channel okay so go now to everybody to subscribe ah mommy let's listen subscribe brother subscribe sister subscribe auntie subscribe make everybody subscribe okay thank you so much i love you guys from the depths of my heart i love you guys so much and god says that he loves you too i love you i love you i love you from the depths of my heart i'm always happy coming i see the smile on my face oh my god bye <laughs>